Hey, what's up? I am Kit Fisto from the ForceEffects.com Jedi Archives forums, and I'd like to invite everybody to come on down and join. And uh, here's my tutorial for making lightsabers in Photoshop. So we're going to recreate this here. So try to do this the quick as possible. All right. So the first thing we want to do here is go to Layer and uh, New Layer. I mean New and Layer, and then put it to Screen in the uh, in the mode. And very important, or else it won't colorize at the end. Very important, people. You got to check mark fill with screen neutral color black. Okay, fill with screen neutral color black check marked. Press OK. Okay, so now we're ready to start doing this. So the uh, first thing we're going to do is select our pen tool. And I'm going to click here on the hilt and click here towards the top. And now if it's not straight, you can use your left and right or up and down arrows. And I'm just going to make a nice point. I'm not going to even bother rounding it off right now because I'm going to show you a nice trick on how to do that at the end, which will save you some time. All right. And this looks about good. Okay, got the saber drawn out. So now let's go ahead and start making a lightsaber out of it. So I'm going to go here to Blur and Gaussian Blur and put it to 1. Okay, now we want to copy the shape layer three different times. So we could go to Layer and Duplicate, uh, or you could just press Control J three times. All right, so I'm going to highlight the second layer here and Filter, Gaussian Blur, 10, go to 100, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, 20, Finally, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 40. And there we go. We got the lightsaber, a nice silver saber. So we got to merge all these down to the layer 5, the uh, black neutral layer. So what we do, we go to the top layer and go to layer up here and just keep on hitting merge down or just press control E. It's a shortcut. All right, so now it's all here in this layer, and it's almost ready to get colorized. Let's just fix the tip like how I was telling you about. So I'm going to click here in the rectangular tool and just highlight the tip here. And go up here to Filter and Noise and Median. And you could see how the median just fixes it up. Let's see, maybe a median of uh, 9. You know, the, the skinnier your blade is, the less of a median. So there we got a nice point to it, and it's ready to be colorized. So to colorize it, we just go to Image, Adjustments, and Color Balance, and uh, always have Preserve a Luminosity check, which it'll normalize. So we're going to go ahead and make a blue saber. So I'm just kick up the blues, give it some science, give it that Luke look, kick up the blue highlights. Kick up science. And there we go. We have a lightsaber. And that's pretty much how it's done. Now uh, let me show you a couple uh couple tricks and tips here. Let me go back to no coloring. Uh as far as the coloring goes, okay, let me go back to color balance like I was gonna colorize it again every color you don't want to mess with the shadows unless you're dealing with a red a red is the exception okay now red by itself okay it will look good but if you kick up the shadows you know it, it'll it'll look a lot better okay now that's a nice sharp red Okay, so that was just uh, an example. I'll go back to my blue layer. Now, uh, another trick uh, is, let's say uh, we are just on a gray background or any kind of background where you could barely see the saber. So uh, a way to make that saber jump right out at you is to use the burn tool. All right, now the burn tool is located right above your, uh, your text tool. Just hold it down. You've got dodge. 
which lightens things and burn which darkens things so select burn and just burn oops wrong layer select the uh... you gotta select your background layer very important and burn baby burn and you will see the saber now it jumps out at you as so now if you burn too much no problem just go back here and go to dodge tool and with dodge tool is it basically undoes a burn so to get rid of all that excess that we did and just have it burnt where the saber is you just dodge all around it and bam now I was jumping out at you told you I was going to show you some tricks and tips here and boom that's how to get it to jump out at you on a light background alright now another quick tip is uh, if your saber is already made and you want to change your saber color alright uh, real easy way to do it is just select your saber color layer and go to layer and then uh, I mean go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and as you mess with the hue you can do every color of the rainbow nice little yellow saber there alright that's it that is my tutorial and uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you benefit from it and I hope you visit the forceeffects.com Jedi Archives forums every day twice a day three times a day just pull up a chair and live there <laughs> this is what it looks like you're welcome to come along and I am Kid Fisto make sure to drop me a PM and tell me you watched the tutorial <laughs>